What up, what up, what up? All right, I wanna share something with you guys real quick. I believe that it's essential for black people to never screw over family for a quick buck. And unfortunately, it is too commonplace that black people, when our family passes and our parents and grandparents leave us stuff, we end up trying, not we, but in terms of you or me, but our people, our family, our whatever, our tribe, we end up trying to screw each other over for a quick buck. The, story, the, the, the situation I'm in particular that I'm referring to is, uh, I had cold call. I had cold called this um this family back in October out here in Brooklyn. That's where I'm at now. Uh, I called this this family out in Brooklyn in October. Gave them my pitch. They were thinking about selling. The guy only said, "Stay in touch," and he hung up. So oh, okay, all right. So I'll stay in touch. And so. Usually when I hear that, automatically, what I attempt to do is get face to face with the family, the person who, or whoever at the residence. Because most times it's like, contact NA. Most times it's a situation where, you know, over the phone, you're really a nobody, but in face to face, person to person, you're able to build a more personable relationship and stuff like that, right? And so, I stopped by this residence maybe two, three, four times already, and no one ever answered, and I left the card. So today I go by there, and I'm knocking on the door, no one's answering, so I'm about to leave, and a, a car pulls up, and the lady's like, hi, can I help you with something? And she was very standoffish at first, and, uh, you know, I just ended up talking to her a little bit and, you know, I have, she had every reason to be standoffish because, you know, she, I'm not going to dive into the full details, but basically it's a situation where, you know, her mother or her family, they own basically two properties out here in Brooklyn, uh, a four family and this three family over here. The three family is the one that they all lived in. The four family was a rental unit. So the mother, she gave there's three siblings two brothers and one sister the mother gave the daughter the four family and the two brothers to uh to decide you know to have the, the three family here the oldest brother got upset or whatever the case may be now all this was done prior to her death so everyone knew what it was in the midst of things the brother ended up trying to oh let me go down albany avenue the brother the brother ended up trying to like scheme uh get her name off the documentation tried to sue her because you know, like I, it's just a whole bunch of nonsense over the property that the mother said hey this is for her this one is for y'all two to share and the dude is not even doesn't even live in brooklyn he's in california <laughs> doesn't even live in brooklyn he's in california and it's just crazy like what what how you know they've been going through this process back and forth not speaking for three four years now because he's trying to get this property you know from underneath her and, and squeeze her out and I, it, it is straight up greed it is straight up greed i don't know what his financial situation is to me it, it doesn't matter you know uh if you're if you're financially dependent upon trying to screw your family member out of what your mother stated like I, I don't know man it's just it's just crazy to me and unfortunately this is not the first story I've heard it's not the first story I've heard and uh, it's just wild it's just wild to me you know because there's more more than enough money to go around they got two properties she would have been willing to share everything and sell if they wanted to and it's just it's just sad it's just really sad and so I wanted to bring it up because she made a great point you know um let me say this she was uh she was 43 but she looked great she was dark you know uh darker than me very attractive uh very attractive black woman i tell you um <laughs> anyway but you know she brought up a great point in terms of something that 
all Brooklynites are, 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 you know, experiencing, which is the Jews buying up and how, you know, they work together to buy a property. And she was saying how they could have worked together to buy a property. She would have been willing to work together to buy, buy a property and stuff like that. But they had a selfish type of, I'm looking out for me, greedy mindset. And it wouldn't have worked at this point. And I feel her pain with regard, like, this is a brother, this is a family. And her, her younger brother ended up following the older brother's bandwagon regarding, you know, trying to do some underhanded, sneaky stuff that was totally unnecessary. And so again, I, I don't know their whole fi fi family dynamics. It's just, it's just sad and it's crazy. And I wanted to remind us as people, family is everything, man. Um, family could be a pain in the ass, <laughs> but you, you only got one family and to ruin the family over momentary you know shit uh, it, it's, it's crazy to me but oh mr doors hold up anyway i appreciate y'all tuning in i'll catch y'all later